Children aged between 14 and 18 are also still being recruited to their ranks. Well, the Tigers have been fighting the Sri Lankan government for a separate Tamil homeland for decades. Many Tamils in Sri Lanka have sought refuge in the ethnic Tamil areas of neighbouring India. Matt McClure reports from Chennai in India. Like many Tamil exiles now living in India, K.N. Kamala Haran has always dreamed of returning one day to Sri Lanka, even now as he's plagued by nightmares about relatives who stayed behind on the island nation and are caught in the crossfire of the current conflict. My family have all been forced to flee. I've lost contact with them, he says. I'm having sleepless nights, worrying about their plight, wondering what trouble they're in. The recent battles between the Sri Lankan army and Tamil Tiger fighters have displaced over a quarter million people. Government forces have made major advances on previously held Tiger territory in the north in the last few months. Between Kilimanjaro and the Elephant Pass. But military experts who studied the three decade long civil war and fought against the Tigers say they are still not a spent force. Losing conventional capability uh, in the case of a guerrilla uh, organization means little because they retain the, the talent for creating uh, insurgency war, which is likely to continue on a smaller scale. The Tigers are officially banned in India, but there are many among the 60 million Tamils here who believe their sisters and brothers in Sri Lanka are being unfairly oppressed. More than a few who believe the Tigers are the only ones who can make things right. If they in a war, they may lose, but they may withdraw, retreat, but don't think they will submit to the dictates of the Sri Lankan government. They will fight it to the last. But many refugee organizations are hoping for an early end to this battle and a lasting peace. The war is uh, at a peak at which the people are not able to save anything and they're coming with whatever little they can take it and come across. Some of them have been starving for three, four days. Civilians caught in a conflict they say has cost their families too much separated them from their native soil for too long. Matt McClure, Al Jazeera, Chennai. Well, let's speak to Surin, Surin Diran, who's a spokesperson for the British Tamils Forum. What do you make of this report, which says that Tamil Tiger fighters in Sri Lanka are forcing civilians to join their cause and trapping them in a war zone? What do you make of it? Well, um, when, when there is a war, there is always a national army. Uh, take Singapore, Israel, Lebanon or South Africa, there is a national service. When, um, when school children finish their schooling, they are asked to serve their nation and get trained for national service. Just like but that. But as young Tamil as 14 Lundum, years where, old? No, well, you know, the NGOs and INGOs have been kicked out by the Sri Lankan government on the 15th of September this year. If you had the NGOs and INGOs, then you have a better, better report on who is being trained and who is being asked to fight. UNICEF is the authoritative organization, the United Nations Children's Organization, which says uh, 1,400 odd uh, um, underage children were in 2002 and 166 in 2007 and only 26 in the last 10 months in 2008. So it has been reducing quite dramatically by the LTTE and um, I don't know where uh, Human Rights Watch is getting this information. But you see, there are 322,000 people who have been displaced um, by the aerial bombardment by the Sri Lankan government. Sri Lankan government is using cluster bombing by their air force. Cluster bombs have been banned by over 100 countries only on the 3rd of December in Oslo. Sri Lankan government used it on the 29th on IDPs, uh, internationally di in internally displaced people. and two children and three adults got killed. Only last Saturday, a five-month-old baby was bombed through a, 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 by the Air Force. So it, it's absolutely what kind right of justification? There is, there is chaos and, and a lot of misery in Sri Lanka, and uh, who's to say is to, who's to blame? But uh, it is fair to say that most of Sri Lanka is under government control right now. Is it not time to sit down and negotiate a settlement? Of course, uh, I think the, the sole representatives of the Tamils, the LTT, has been uh, adhering to the ceasefire, internationally, internationally sponsored ceasefire agreement from 2002. It's the Sri Lankan government which 
unilaterally abrogated from the ceasefire agreement on the 16th of January this year. Even as uh, recent as last week, the LTTE said they are willing to negotiate with the Sri Lankan government. Um, so it is, it is, the ball is in the Sri Lankan government's coat. Why isn't the human rights organizations protesting against a government that is bombing its own people? It is the third country in the history of the world to bomb its own people. It has bombed the Tamil nation, the Tamil homeland, with bombs that are worth more than what has been used at Hiroshima by the American forces during the Second World War. So it is almost like asking when Germany was bombing the Europeans, um, asking the Europeans to move towards Germany is what the international community is asking. The Tamil homeland has been bombed, 322,000 people have been displaced, and we are asking the Tamil people to walk away from their homes into an army. The, the Can I just ask you just one people, final thing, because we are just running out of time now. It, would, you, sure. would you agree that the uh, Tamil Tigers are on the verge of defeat now? Not at all, not at all. You know, this war has been going on for the last 25 years. The LTT, as far as the British Tamils Forum are concerned, are withdrawing from territory to protect their capability. Um, I can't speak for the LTT, but until there is a negotiation, until there is a ceasefire agreement, just like what happened in 2002, and have a political solution for this problem, this war and this battle will carry on. All right, Surin Surinduran, thanks very much indeed for your thoughts on this. Thank you. Thank you very much.